In this video, we're going to look at changing the scale on the work combination chart. So here we have a process here. I'm going to hit the right mouse button. I'm going to send it to a work combination. And I'm going to browse for the particular place where I want to put it. Now I have it under my part number one here. I've created a work combination folder. And I'm just going to call it part number one. And click on the open and then click on the OK. And that will go away and create the work combination chart for me here. Now you'll notice here I have a certain scale here. And uh, you see it drawing here. Now we look closely up here. This actually says modify scale max. This is just an information only. It's currently set to 60 right here. So we get 60 little uh, lines here. And the tack time you can see is 60 seconds. And the problem comes if let's say your tack time was longer than 60 seconds. How are you going to adjust it? Here we are back in the combination config.xls file. This is our master from which everything is going to come here. So let's just say for argument's sake that the output here, instead of being 450, was in fact going to be 250. Right? That's going to change my uh, tag time line, my tag time to 108 seconds from 60. And obviously the scale down here is not going to fit because it's currently set to 60. How do we change it? You have to make two changes here. If I point at the grid itself, hit the right button, and then hit the uh, right, sorry, hit the left button, then the right button, get format axis here. And what we want to do is move to the scale parameter here. And I'm going to set it to 120. Right? So you generally know roughly what you're going to have be dealing with when you're, uh, in terms of the tag time you're going to be dealing with. Here we're going to set it to 120. And we save that. You can see it's moved the bar out here. And now you can see my 108 seconds has been indicated out here. Next thing we want to do is point at the grid lines themselves and hit the right mouse button and say Format Grid Lines. And again, here you see the 60. So we're going to make that 120 to match up with the, uh, the scale we have here. You can see all, I've got now these little close together lines here. Just for information purposes, I'm going to go up here and change this number to 120. So I've made several changes on here to change the scaling on the grid here. I'm just going to save my new combination, combination config file here. And then we can go and use it. So here we are back in our process. I really haven't made any changes. I'll just move one thing over here just to generate a different change here. I'm going to hit the right mouse button, send to work combination, click on the browse. I've cleared out the previous one. I'm just going to create it again here. Part number one. And then click on the open. And then click the OK. And now what it's going to do, it's going to use the larger scale here. Right? So you can see, even though uh, I haven't changed the process, you can see the bars are smaller than they were before. And that's because it's using the new scale of 120 seconds rather than being the 60 seconds that we saw before. So what we covered in this session is basically how you can change the scale down here uh, to allow you to reflect the uh, appropriate tag time for your operations.